sorry, mate. I'm, don't worry about it. He stopped. Hi everyone, the driver of that Mercedes had to go off and go and do a driving course after this incident but I'm actually unsure what started all this but what I do know is that the car that crashed into our camera was too close and didn't slow down enough under braking and that's what today's video is going to all be about. This is the actual clip that inspired me to do this video. And it's a classic case of catching people up in front who are braking. And we've just seen our camera do it then. And simply when this happens, you are travelling faster than the vehicle in front. So when there is a problem, this happens. Oh, for sake! Because our camera had to brake extra hard, it catches the people out behind. Our camera in that clip was travelling well within the required safety distance of two seconds in good weather. And most people drive, honestly, on the roads in this way. And it's especially common on motorways. In this clip, my camera is travelling on the M5 and they're slightly catching the vehicles in front and it made it worse because they're too close in the first place And as normal with these situations, people further back also get caught out but the effect is even greater this is how accidents happen. We should all be keeping a minimum space of at least two seconds in front of us, and that's at all speeds, but only in good weather conditions. But when you don't slow down as much as the vehicle does in front, even if you are keeping a good distance, there can still be problems. As with the previous clip on the motorway, our camera holds his hand up and realises his mistake. But this one was a little different. His separation distance is fine, it's more than acceptable, but he's just late on seeing the car in front signal and doesn't do very much slowing down until it's really too late. And that meant he had to steer to fix this problem. What if a vehicle had been coming the other way on this fast moving road? Keeping a bigger space around your vehicle allows for a more relaxing drive. If someone is following you too closely from the back, increase your space between that and the vehicles in front. What that then allows you to do is if there is a problem up ahead, you can slow down in a smoother manner. If all the people in these clips that we've just seen followed that advice, there wouldn't be any clips to show. Now, I know that would mean I would have less content, but personally, I prefer to keep everyone safe. See you soon.